Hey, how's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood med student, and today is a very special vlog day because I will be installing a bidet. And boy, did I have such a hard time getting this bidet. So like a couple of weeks ago, I decided I wanted to get a bidet because I've been seeing it so often. Like people use it all the time. So many of my friends use it, but I've never really gotten a chance to use it on myself. And you know, I'm South Asian, so we already have that hygienic process that process of using water to clean our bits, but usually we use the old fashioned way, which is usually just um, like uh, like a little water planter. But it is like in, in the US, it does get a little uh, uncomfortable to use just because I don't really wanna touch anything while I'm cleaning myself down there. But uh, two weeks ago, uh, I went over to my girlfriend's place and she is a bidet convert. And I used a bidet for the first time, which was amazing. So I decided to get one for myself. But Amazon decided to choose violence because for some reason when I ordered it, it took forever to get here. It took about a week and I have Prime, so I should have gotten it in like four days ago. And they lost the package, uh, which I was really concerned about. But I not only did I get a refund, the package ended up getting delivered. So this one I got for about 30 bucks. It's called the Bath and Boom, or is it Bath and Bum? I don't know, are they trying to be more fancy? But it's called the Bath and Bum um, bidet attachment. And it's like, it looks like a wooden knob. It looks super cool. So I wanna install it and see how it works. So let's get started. So I just unboxed it and it looks so cool. Like this is the bidet itself and it has that wooden knob. There's an, also an option for a black one, but I've got the wooden one because you'll see later on in this video that my bathroom actually has like this wooden shelf. So I thought it would fit perfectly with it, but it looks pretty cool. And there's also two nozzles for this unit, one for the front region and one for the behind and a really nice and smooth dial. So I am um, so excited to install it. So the instructions say they it takes about 10, 15 minutes to install, but we'll see. Uh, I have the tools because I have a toolbox, but we'll see how long it really takes me because when I tried to install it, when my girlfriend moved at her new place, it took us forever because of how the toilet seat was uh, malfunctioned. So um, yeah, I'm excited, but also a little worried about how long this takes me because I have to be ready in an hour for a residency interview night meet and greet. So this is what I was talking about, about fitting the theme of my um peeing and pooping areas that i already have this like wooden ledge that i installed a couple of weeks ago so i think this wooden accent on the bidet is just gonna fit right into the theme so i do have this trash can here and i'm probably gonna have to move it here um for the foreseeable future once i install this bidet because it's only one directional which sucks because i'm actually left-handed so i'm just a left-handed person living in a right-handed person's world So it's telling me to wrap this Teflon tape around this connection right here so that uh, there's no, it's leak proof. Um, sometimes you don't really need it, but for extra protection, it's a good idea to do that. So I'm gonna do that right now. Of course, my cat wants to photobomb everything that I do. So say hi, Jean-Luc, everyone. Of this do I really need? <laughs> it just keeps going. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna cut it off. Okay. And then I gotta put the washer. I gotta put the washer up on this top section. That should be what I all I need really. To connect the T valve into my water inlet. Yep, that looks like it.
Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so difficult to do. Oh, it's like struggling to even put the uh, valve on because it needs to be aligned perfectly right. For some reason, it's not doing it. I had the same issue when I tried to install it in my girlfriend's. All right. Uh, turns out I was going the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just tighten it with a wrench just so that you know it's secure. Because for some reason, I might have not angled it properly. Let me try again. All right, so now I just have the T-valve installed. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks right now. This is the original connection that used to be up here, but now I put the T-valve in. And so now I just have to hook the connection up and assemble the bidet. The next big step is to connect the flexible hose to the T-valve and the connection on the bidet. Now I gotta lift the toilet seat a, a little bit up so I can put the bidet in, in place. Ah. So this has a simple uh, toilet seat lift. I was trying to actually just take off the tabs on the top, but that's not how it is because it's more simplified, uh, much easier than uh, what I had to do at my girlfriend's home to install hers. So I think I just need to flip the tops, the tabs, and I should be able to slide the bidet in. Okay, so what I ended up having to do is just unscrew it just to loosen it just a little bit in the bottoms, and then lift up this top and unscrew with a flat head on each side, and now the lid lifts up a little so I can squeeze the bidet in. So I installed the bidet parts to it. Um, hopefully, once I um, plug in this T-valve and turn the water back on, it'll work. But we'll see if I did it right and didn't cause a disaster. Okay, y'all, I'm sitting in my toilet and I'm about to use the bidet for the first time. Usually it's a surprise every time I do it, but let's try the front end first and then the back end. Um, all right, I'm turning it to the front end. Oh. Okay, okay. Maybe I need to make it a little stronger. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um. Oh my god. <laughs> it's always a surprise, and luckily it doesn't feel too cold. Um. At first I was worried that nothing was happening, but I think the water pressure just needed to accumulate since I just had turned the water pressure back on. I do think I need to sit a little bit further back for it to get my, uh, to my, to get my front toe or, uh, push the bidet more towards the front. But overall, it's a success and I have my bidet <laughs> installed and ready to go. So I just messed around with it for a little bit and I think the bum hole one is super super accurate it gets exactly to the hole and where it needs to go to clean that area but i think the frontal one for me i need to shimmy a little bit to adjust but that i don't think that's a flaw on the design of this bidet it's more of how human anatomy is different for everyone i guess mine is a little bit more uh further up <laughs> than it is uh for the average person but it's a non-issue, I just have to um, adjust my back seat a little bit for it to work. But successful bidet installation, much easier than when I first installed it. Um, it still took me about 50 minutes though, uh, because of the struggles that I had uh, along the way. But um, I have more than enough time to prep for my meet and greet night for my interview. 
All right, y'all. So before I end this vlog for today, because that took a lot out of me. Uh, it was like me fighting with the toilet seat. But um, before I end this vlog today, I wanted to show y'all some of the f I hate pieces that I've been getting because of the election cycle happening in Georgia right now. So uh, I've been getting a ton of campaign mail. A ton. Ridiculous amount. But this has got to be the most like infuriating because it literally promotes hate. It promotes violence against um, trans people. And I, I just want you to look at this. This was sent from the America First Legal Coalition. And props on them for using trans colors. Yay. But everything else in this letter is absolutely ridiculous and promotes pseudoscience and promotes uh, hate. So it's talking about how Joe Biden is um, is like pushing for radical and irreversible gender experiments on children. First of all, Joe Biden hasn't done anything really for uh, the advancement of trans people. Um, not the campaign promises that he's made. Yes, it has gotten easier for trans people to get the rights that we deserve, but we're not getting any special privileges. And gender experiments on children, that never happens. I don't know if y'all know this, but um, to be diagnosed with gender dysphoria, it's a really strict requirement for children. And most children don't undergo any form of hormone replacement therapy or gender affirmation surgery until they can reach a certain age where they've made that decision for themselves. And usually we wait until uh, like near adulthood to do any form of gender affirming surgeries. And when it comes to puberty blockers, it, it talks about how giving children off-label use drugs like puberty blockers that stop children from developing into healthy adult males and females. I don't know if you know this, but puberty blockers were created for the use in children who have issues with hormones and who have issues with things like precocious puberty and, and intersex uh, children also use them to align with the gender identity that they most feel comfortable with. So no, puberty blockers are not a new creation. They've been around for generations to help treat children of all ages uh, for issues when it comes to hormone usage and um, development of sex characteristics. Um, cutting off healthy breasts and genitalia. Uh, just because something is healthy doesn't mean that it's good for you. I, I'm, I'm sure most people know that. And um, yeah, I had healthy breasts, but did it make me feel good about myself? Absolutely not. And I am a thriving, uh, pre, uh, thriving future physician like in a couple of months, and I've contributed a lot to society. Uh, injecting boys with female hormones that are given to sex offenders to cause sterilization. First of all, these are not boys, these are girls. Uh, how dare you? Giving girls testosterone to make them appear as males. No, I'm not appearing as a male, I am a male. And secretly calling boys by girls, <laughs> secretly <laughs> calling boys by girls names and using incorrect pronouns in school. Actually, this is what happened to me um, when I was uh, a teenager and it wasn't secretly. People discriminated against me for my gender identity. So no, uh, this is entirely like derogatory. It's like spreading misinformation through the USPS. And this is entirely irresponsible and shouldn't even be allowed uh, to be distributed. So anyway, this was um, not something I wanted to see in my mail really, but... At the same time, um, we're able to see the buffoonery of certain politicians who think it's okay to make people like me feel bad about ourselves, even though we literally make up less than a percent of the U.S. population and we're not really doing any harm to anyone, except that you're going to further traumatize us as children and so that we are not uh, healthy contributors of the um of society when we get older because you've traumatized us when we were little so this is just a ploy to make sure trans people continue to stay traumatized and continue to be at a place in life where they don't have the resources to be thriving individuals that's that's the only reason why these laws are being passed it's to keep trans people from pursuing their passions pursuing them pursuing their dreams and limiting their freedoms so that we can't thrive in society and eventually we won't have the resources to vote. 
That's the only reason. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog that I posted. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, my struggles with installing a bidet. I'm going to go get ready for my meet and greet for my interview tomorrow. I'm going to meet with the residents, talk about their program, and I'm very excited to learn about it and not um, have to read uh, this garbage that comes into my mail. Uh, what's it called? The, um, the America First Legal Foundation. I hope y'all have a terrible Halloween, and I hope uh, Freddy Krueger um, terrorizes you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with my daily life and my activism work, and um, I love y'all. This is Ben.